This is my first uh, So You Think I'm Crazy vlog. <laughs> By the way, I had to look up what a vlogger was. I had no idea. Um, but uh, I guess I just wanted to make a So You Think I'm Crazy video. Um, let's just start with yesterday. Okay, I hiked uh, 7.5 miles. Now, that seems like an accomplishment to me, but when you consider I used to jog <laughs> 10 miles, <laughs> I'm wiped out, man. I, 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 well, the other thing I did was I seam sealed the tent. And uh, so, you, you know, I've, we've been talking about this trip for what, four months, you know, that this 10,000 mile journey that I'm going to go on. And, and that's why I called this the So th You Think I'm Crazy, but I just, uh, I've been giving it a lot of thought, and I just kind of wanted to talk about things. Um, you know, we've had uh, two million people, two million people pour into this country illegally in the last, uh, well, since Biden took office. Uh, and, uh, it, and you know, the talk is they're going to, you know, give them am amnesty and uh, turn them into voters, you know. And I understand that. Democrats want to stay in power, you know. Um, but, I, you know... And, what blows my mind, you know, luckily I'm married to a Democrat. <laughs> and you think, is that okay with you? You know, and, and yeah, totally okay. You know, they, they, they Democrats just think it's wonderful to have two, thillion, two, two million with fentanyl and uh, uh, terrorists and, uh, you know, all those, uh, what, 100, 100 or 200,000 Afghanis that came in and we don't, we don't even know it. All of them are COVID infected and, you know, just spreading them out all over the country, you know. So you think I'm crazy, huh? You think I'm crazy for, for everything that I'm doing to prepare for this, this 10,000 mile journey. I'm just going to keep going, you know, it, as, as just as stuff pops into my head. Here's the, here's the boo dog. I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, no, yeah I got the boo dog with me. Uh, we've got inflation. I don't know about you, I'm seeing some empty shelves even here in Florida. Uh, you know, uh, everywhere I go, uh, I think bacon has doubled in price. Yeah, but you're okay with that, you know, I don't know. I, I'm not, you know, I, I'm seeing some crazy stuff. Look at, let's look at gasoline prices. Let's see, when Trump left office, it was $1.98 here in Florida, and now I'm seeing Three fifty. <laughs> Let's see. Biden took down the uh, Keystone Pipeline, destroyed the fracking industry, and ended our uh, Anwar exploration. Democrats are okay with that, you know. Uh, whatever, you know. It's just uh, the nature of the beast. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, we've got Congress night right now trying to pass uh, all kinds of crazy socialist uh, legislation. We'll see what happens with that because you got the rhinos and the uh, Democrats all teamed up together. Let's see, three three point five trillion dollars in new spending, um, with a country that's already twenty eight trillion dollars in debt. So you think I'm crazy? Yeah, I must be crazy. I must be crazy. It doesn't seem like a good idea to me. You know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. You know. So, uh, so what, what, what can I expect when I get out on the road? I mean, let's see, uh, in the last year, let's just talk about things. We've had a oil pipeline go down and basically starve the entire East Coast for gasoline. Said it was a cyber attack. Hmm, don't know. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Well, I am, and to a certain degree, I just try to watch things. Uh, we've got a news media that has proven well, I already knew, I mean, because over in the war during 2003, Fox News was there and uh, they were reporting uh, things that weren't true about the war and uh, I saw it and so we just watched uh, Al Jazeera and, uh, well, back then the BBC News was still okay um, and that's all we watched. We never watched uh, any of the American news media, but I mean, I, I think it's just come out in the last couple of years how corrupt the, the news media is. I mean, I... I mean, I, I knew they were compromised. I just didn't know to the extent. I mean, it, it's like you can't believe a. It's like that Fauci idiot up there in the White House. You know, you can't believe a damn thing that comes out of the that idiot's mouth, and certainly can't believe anything that comes out of the mainstream media. And I include Fox News in that category. Now, 
seems like Newsmax and OANN and maybe NTD and uh, hell, even RT TV, Russian television. <laughs> I think we get better news from those sources than we than we do. Well, it, I know we do from from the mainstream media. You know, so uh, so we're you know we're fed a pack of lies every day. You know, and uh, so what you know. What can I expect on this trip? I don't know, man. I mean, am I going to see? I mean, let's, let's, well, let's just talk about that. I mean, so here we've got the State Department that's issued a memo that they're going to go and arrest parents for, for basically protesting at school board meetings. They're, they're worried about that. You know, that's a big, big concern now for, for the federal government. You know, the, the terrorists and the, the, the fentanyl and, and thousands of people dying and the, the shootings in Chicago and Black Lives Matter burning down cities and Antifa out there, uh, you know, burning down buildings and the riots and everything. That doesn't concern the federal government. They're more worried about parents protesting at school board meetings. <laughs> I mean, has the whole world go I mean, it, and you think I'm crazy. That's why I said, and you think I'm crazy video, right? So... You know, this is why I'm, I'm, you know, preparing so hard for this trip. I mean, yesterday was just to get my exercise, you know, hiked 7.5 miles and, whew, oh man, I'm, I'm just, I'm beat up today. I'm just beat all to hell. And uh, so, um, and of course I seam sealed the tent till about, uh, it took me about three hours. I mean, I worked hard on that tent and so now I'm, I'm gonna put it up in the yard over here and uh, we've got about a 50% chance of rain on Friday. I'm hoping that I'll get a good rainstorm and see if it's gonna be dry. But yeah, I mean, you probably say, well, you know, hey, that cybersecurity guy, why are you worried about that tent? That's just your overnight tent. And we've, if you go way back on my videos, I talked about tent camping and uh, my philosophy on it, you know, and, uh, um, but you know, when I pull up in a campground, a lot of times there's about a 20 or 30% chance of rain. It's hard to get away from that most of the time. So, you know, it might pour down overnight, uh, in my, and I call that my overnight tent. Okay. The one that I'm working on right now. Um, if I'm going to be staying for three or four or five days, of course, I'm going to put up the bombshell Cabela's tent. And if you want to go back in my videos, uh, I got, uh, a number of videos that I did on on working on that tent um, and how it's 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 a bombshell. I mean, you know, I can I can survive a hurricane in that Cabela's tent. I you know, but so and then of course you know uh, you've got I've got my backpacking tent and uh, that's just for uh, like an, uh, that's another overnight tent more or less. But it's just for getting out into the forest for a night. You know, for me I I can't do the eight day camp backpacking trips anymore. Uh, and then of course. I'm not taking it along on this trip, but I do have an eight person Titan tent, uh, which I do need to get out and work on at some point, but that's not for this trip. And uh, so, uh, but you know, what I'm telling you is that I just, I just want to be prepared for everything, you know? And uh, even working on all of the, uh, the media equipment, I mean, you know, I, that's a, that's an education in and of itself, and I've made various videos on everything that I'm doing to try to, to, with the external mic and, uh, um, you know, Google Fi and Samsung and all the difficulties that I've had there. So I wanted to add this to the video. <clears throat> all right. Now you see the spot right here. Okay, I've seam sealed that from the inside, which you got on a previous video, and I seam sealed it from the outside. Okay, we've also gone around where the fabric meets the, uh, the bottom of the tent on both the inside and the outside, seam sealing the tent. Okay, all the way around. Uh, been a hell of a journey, but uh, so we've, we've got it uh, seam sealed as best I can. So, uh, and then of course I've hit the cracks here with the seam sealant. And uh, so the next step, let's just show you, is the uh, tent and gear, solar proof, the tent. And uh, you can read the directions, but I'll read them to you real quick. Protect the working surface and lay clean, wet item, flat erect tent and wet. Spray evenly to the outside of fabric, avoid rucksack, rucks, 
Rucksack straps, I don't even know what that means. Uh, wait for two minutes, remove any surplus product, check carefully to ensure no areas have been missed. So that's kind of the next step. So we're, uh, we're weaponing up this tent as best I can. Um, I was just gonna, and then I'm gonna put it up in the backyard. Um, so I've seam sealed the inside now, and we've seam sealed the outside. And uh, now we're gonna put the solar proof on here. And that'll be it. And then I'll pack, well, I gotta wait for a rainstorm and see if I get any water in this thing. And you say, well, Kirk, this is an awful lot of work. Or that cybersecurity guy, it's an awful lot of work for an overnight tent that you're not expecting any rain in. Well, guess what, people? <clears throat> I don't want to get wet again. And I'm hoping that all this work, because uh, when I when I hole up, it's going to be a 20 or 30% chance of rain. No way this goes up where there's a 50% chance of rain. Let's just put it that way. I mean, I might even put it up in a 40% chance of rain. Because I think I'm pretty, pretty safe in this thing now. And... Uh, well, let's just get going. I'll keep working on it, and uh, but this is what I'm doing for the trip. Um, you might say, well, why don't you just get a hotel room, man? You know, yeah, $150 a night, and I uh, don't know, uh, <clears throat> don't know if there's uh, who's been in that hotel room or what's going on with that hotel room. Nope, nope. I want to be off grid, people. I want to be off grid. All right, so that's where we where we stand. Peace out, and be free. Well, I don't know. Once again, technical difficulties. The video just powered off. I, I don't know. I got the dog here. Uh, so anyway, just a brief talking video about things. You know, I guess, uh, you know, I, I see Viva, Viva Fry, Viva Fry. I love that guy. I think he's great. And uh, he makes his videos in the car because it's a great echo chamber. And I guess I'll just have to see how this turns out. Um, but I guess I got to do the mantra to end the video here and uh, just wanted to do a brief talking video and uh, just talk about things. So you think I'm crazy. So you think I'm crazy. Well, let's do it. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to live in the free state of Florida under the great governor DeSantis.